Um, I love Showstopper. It's one of my favorite levels. I've played Paris so many times. Oh, good evening. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine. Sanguine. One of Europe's leading couture brands. Mm, fashion. Your targets are Sanguine owner Victor Novikov, <laughs> a former oligarch turned fashion model. All right. His partner Dahlia Margolis, All right. a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people. In the world. So these are bad people. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during mm -hmm. the Sanguine show. We can't let that happen. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Nah. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I do. I will leave you to prepare. <sighs> no good luck, 47? No one's gonna wish me some luck. All right, that's fine. I don't need luck. We make our own luck here. Welcome to Paris, forty-seven. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global. <laughs> you will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight. Obviously. Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top. Hello. Students. I'm very famous. There we go. <laughs> Did I just show my password? <laughs> I mean, I think so. Look at what I'm wearing. I think I look great. I look very fashionable. Alright. So we're just gonna pass on through here. We're just gonna go inside. No, don't don't just subdue one of these people on the red carpet. That would look really suspicious. That's not the move. We're just gonna walk in here. Well, it's lovely here. Oh, look at this. Don't take my picture, please, though. I'm an international assassin. Uh, I think what I want to do... Right in, oh, thank you. I, I will. I plan on it. I think I'm going to ignore this entrance, because he's going to come in and be like... That is Victor yeah, he's having his Bruce Wayne moment. It's fine. Alright, you can keep having that moment. I'm going to walk in here. Alright, close the door. Close the door behind us. Ah, uh, wonderful. Okay. Now we can start getting the job done. He's directly above me, which is hilarious. All right, so down here, down here, uh, security room I believe is up ahead over here. Yeah, I'm almost 100% certain this is the security room. So if that's a security room, then I wanna go this way, I think. And then come up here. No, I am in the wrong place. God damn it. Okay, so I think I gotta go down. <laughs> it's a labyrinth down here. Alright, so I, I mean, I could just start bopping security guys, but I don't know if that's the move. I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to be a stealthy man here. So I think we go this way. Oh, maybe I can just steal a uniform from in here. I think there is one to be taken. Um, That's right over there. Let me just sneak over to it. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Alright, we're good. Great. Sad I lost my very fashionable suit, but what are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do? Alright, I think I got all the things that I deeply care about. I mean, I could get some rat poison. That's that's always like a, that's a goodie. Got two crowbars now. I think the rat poison's in here. Yeah, I think it is. It's on the shelf? Yeah, I know where things are. And um, there's also the mansion key, which we kind of want to get. And I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, you don't really need more than that. Um... So I believe the way I would like to go out, oh, I, I, I believe the boss man does come down here at some point and like makes a lap down here. So this would be a great place to just like grab him. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think we're gonna be a little bit more sneaky than that. All right, welcome to the nightclub sections, which I don't know if I have the rights to that music, so let's try not to <laughs> spend too much time <laughs> listening to that. Uh, what's out here? Is this the back door? Oh, I love how that guy's talking about, yeah, they're frisking everyone who does the staircases. Of course they are. It's very sus. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Alright, the one that I want, I think I'm going to do the classic uh, dress up as that guy. Like, look at him, and look at me, you know? We're basically the same guy. So, we can we can go, uh, we'll grab him in a second. He's, he's gonna walk over here. Uh, oh, hello. He's gonna walk to the edge here. I mean, I might have to kill him, um, but he's a baddie, I'm pretty sure. He's done, done bad things. So, I, I feel like it's probably okay to kill him. 
Uh, I don't know if he's the only one who comes over here. I don't recall. It's been a while. It's been a minute. So I don't know. I think he... Yeah, he's going to walk down. Those two guys, I think, might be somewhat of a problem. Nah, I don't think they will be. All right, where's, where's the Fashion Man? There's Fashion Man. Fashion Man will go over here. We hit Fashion Man in head with briefcase. Put Fashion Man in box if we can. If we can't, we throw him over the edge. Uh, ideally without murdering him, but, you know, we're only human. There's only so much we can... Oh, God damn it. Is this man coming down here? Sir, you can't come down here. This is where Fashion Man will be. And if Fashion Man sees you... Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to hit that man in the dome. This guy is going to get domed in a second. I'm very, I'm very antsy to dome this man. Okay, this fashion man. I think that guy just like looks that way. Oh my god, there's a second one now too. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. You know what? Okay, well. Not what I wanted to do, but what happened. So, that's kind of where we are. Um, hopefully no one saw and or heard. I'm just gonna throw this guy over the edge. That should be fine. Okay, well. Not perfect, but what in this world is. I just kind of panicked. I was running out of time. Things needed to be dealt with. Alright, everyone goes in the boxes, everyone's asleep, nobody knows what happened, everything's fine. I mean, I'm sad I had to kill that guy, but, you know. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Let me bring this gun, grab this sweet gun. Do you guys have two separate guns? No, it's the same gun. Good. Let me go over here and just, like, dump it back here. There you go, so no one's gonna find it. I will take your phone, and I will make the call. Okay, great. I need to get my makeup done. Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire suite. Next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Okay. Do the job, and come see me right away. Alright, easy peasy. So now we gotta do high fashion. Which, that shouldn't be so hard. Let me go... Uh, I gotta get my makeup done. It's so much work. But it's fine, I mean... Uh, oh, pardon me, I think it's this way. Hello, yes. Um, where's hair and makeup? I think hair and makeup's this way. Ooh, a screwdriver. You could never have enough screwdrivers. Oh, there's the target. That's the guy I'm supposed to kill. Hello. But he doesn't know it's me, so that's good. Where's the... Where's hair and makeup for me? Hair and makeup, hair and makeup. There it is, found it. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm just trying to get mine. I'm supposed to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he, he knows about my blue steel. I do. Okay. Yeah, make me beautiful. I have a lot of shine right now. You know, I need some powder. Probably on my head. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that, that's good. I'm liking that. Wait, what? Is she talking about a murder? Oh my god. She should just hire me. I'm like 10 feet away. I'll take an open contract. Wow, that's a... That's a I love the look, but it would be very hard to take off if I ever get caught. Wow, I'm way more matte now. They did get a lot of the shine off. Yeah, really. It's not my leg that might be broken. <laughs> it's sad that 40 let 7 doesn't quit more. He needs to quit more. All right. Also, I love that he's carrying around his briefcase and no one's asking any briefcase-related questions. Like, what's in there? Let's see. All right. Getting ready to go on stage. Hello. I mean... No, we don't. Oh, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm supposed to go on. You know what? Fine, I'm going on. There we go. I got this. I like that I'm holding the briefcase that has <laughs> the evidence inside of it. <laughs> Alright, can I strike a pose at the end? I think I can. Yeah, let's do it. 
Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. He is slaying it. Oh, let me leave the catwalk now. It's gonna be really confusing when they find out that Helmet's actually dead. Cause they'd be like, no, he walked the catwalk. He can't be dead. But no, that is he is he is really dead. I unfortunately had <laughs> no other choice but to kill him. So, uh, you know. A lot of questions for me. Thank you. That's very nice to hear. It's what I love to hear. Alright, I come up here. I think the next stairs are right over here. And I think they'll let me th right through. I think they know I'm Mr. Kruger. Thank you. Yeah, no one's gonna stop me. I'm a male model. So virtually unstoppable. Thank you. Um, I'm supposed to meet someone. I think I meet her over here. Hello? Hi, Mr. Kruger. Yes. Wow. Everyone wants to work with me. It's nice being Mr. Kruger. He he lives a good life. Yeah, I'm here. I'm early. Okay. Yeah. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Okay. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. Mm hmm That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Did she notice me? I would have been noticed. I want you to go to New York, <laughs> seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And Wait. yet she's not the one. Hi, you do catch on fast. The father is. No, that would be yeah. The father, CEO I mean, obviously. Yeah, if you're. Jessica yeah. Is your way in. Are we, this, so you want me to be a honeypot? Are we doing a honeypot? Hmm. Okay. No. That's pretty easy. Not really, but sure. I mean, I wouldn't want to take cyanide, to be perfectly honest. Do we? What's the trouble? Let me just poison her. Let me just give her this. Alright, that should be fine. Alright. Well, it's a little late now, isn't it? I wonder where her husband is. No, no, I'm gonna deal with this immediately. Selena's a big girl. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her and if she shows signs of cracking. I'm gonna go sit down. Being weird, just walking around. Let me just sit down. There we go. It's less weird. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything. I've just been sitting here this whole time. Are you feeling thirsty, perhaps? That's okay. Yes. Yes. Business. Together. Drink up. To your health. Oh my god. Holy god. Okay, well. Alright, target down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Not even hard at all. Right, let's put her in the box. Great. Alright, that was surprisingly easy. Not even like a challenge. <laughs> Alright, let's head on out. Yep, just here on business. You know how that is. Um, Alright, so let's go downstairs and kill her husband. I wonder where he is. Where is he? He's like way down there. He's just kind of wandering the floor below. Uh, he should be pretty easy to grab, I'm assuming. Like, I don't see this being too difficult. Actually, I think he's a floor lower. He is a floor lower. Maybe he's in the kitchens. Oh, don't want to go that way. There's cameras there. Do not want to get spotted by the cameras. I'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way, then go down. We'll just go down. Where is the man? There is the man. All right, excellent. Hmm. Uh, part of me thinks I should just shoot him. I don't know if that's the move. I don't really want to just pop him in the skull. Oh, he's walking through here. I mean, he's very accessible. You know, I could just, like, get him. Like, I could just get him from, like, way the fuck over here. You know, I could just, like... Oh, his security is, like, watching. Yeah, obviously watch this way. This is the way a man... Like, yeah, this is the angle a good assassin could just hit him. Alright, let's see where this guy goes. I'm just gonna follow him around a little bit. 
I mean, I could grab him when he goes out to do the fireworks. If I go to the second story, grab fireworks. I can just grab him at the fireworks. Yeah, that's probably... Sorry about that. I didn't mean to bump you like that. That's awkward. Um, I think we should just grab him with the fireworks. I think that might be the move. It might be easier just to grab him there. These dudes will be... Oh, there's this guy here. Is there a box anywhere for me to store this man? I don't think there is. Maybe at the first floor there is? We'll see. I think at the bottom floor. I think I gotta drag him all the way down to the basement to get a box. Am I right? Yeah, that's so far. Holy god, that's so... I mean... How badly do I want it is, like, the question. Probably bad. Pretty bad. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Jeez Louise. I mean, he will die, because... But this is the fastest way to get him down some stairs. So, we're, we're here about speed. It's about... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, it's, I have a need for speed, alright? So, I understand this is not the nicest way of going about it, but it was the fastest. So, come on, friend. Come with me. I think I killed him. Um, mostly by throwing him down a flight of stairs after being unconscious. Probably with a concussion, so... I'm sorry. Uh, I don't feel good about this. It's what had to happen, though. I need your clothes, you see. I know it's a strange ask, but... It's what I need, so... Thank you. Alright, excellent. Now we're gonna go back upstairs, and I'm gonna go grab my suitcase that I... <laughs> used to bludgeon the man with. And then I'm gonna go steal the fireworks, because they should let me steal the fireworks now that I'm wearing this. I should be okay for fireworks st stealing. I think it's this way. Ah, oh, there they are. And then over here should be... Oh, the fireworks! It's his money, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is... That's super easy. What you do is just come down these stairs, pop open this door, come out this way. I think go this way? God, I never know. Um, and you open this door, right? Now you're not where you're supposed to be, but it's okay. You're close enough. So you're going to keep running with this until you're well outside. Then you're going to hit this button. This button will set off the fireworks. Which is great. So now the fireworks are going off, which is excellent. That's exactly what you need. Everyone is now looking at the fireworks. Ooh, ah, you know, it's, it's it's all that kind of stuff, which is great. That's what you want. Now, while everyone's ooing and awing, you come over here, you change into a bodyguard. Got him. The bodyguard now lets you basically whip this bad boy out, because you've been having this in the case this whole time. So now you can not... There you go. Now I have it in my hand. Now I come over here. This guy's looking that way. These guys are getting the selfies in. It's, it's great. Everyone's loving the fireworks, obviously. Now this guy, he wants to see the fireworks, so he's going to come out this way, which is, again, super reasonable. All of his actions are hella reasonable. So he's going to walk out here. I'm going to sit back here real pretty. I don't think I can hit this shot. This is like a one in the million kind of shot. I don't know if I'll hit it. Maybe I can use it with a pistol. Let me try with a pistol. I don't know if I'll hit this shot. This is a crazy shot. The distance here is, like, unbelievable. Let's see. Money, money, money. Oh! Oh, that was clean. Oh, that was unbelievably clean. Alright, now we leave. Wow. That was... That was nice. That was a nice shot. Alright, and there's Paris. Easy peasy. That wasn't too hard at all. But no one else dares. I dare. Yeah, I mean, we could have done... There's a bunch of ways to, to get these guys here. Although I think I... Oh, I got the headshot one, I think. Nice trick of the fireworks. Nice. Ooh, look at all these points. Alright. Not bad. 25k. I'll take it. Oh, one star, though. I don't know how I feel about that single star. I want more stars. What did I get? <gasps> the sniper. I'm gonna do that. I think we're gonna snipe him. I mean, I'm set up for it, so I kind of want to. Um, I will take this knife because I love having a knife. Yeah. Knives are great. Oh, no one look. All right, great. So I grab the knives. Um, let me go get the key. I'll take the wrench too. The wrench is probably useful for something. 
I'll go get the key, which I think is over here. I don't need the poison because I don't plan on poisoning anyone. The key's not here. The key's over here. There's a key. All right, great. So we'll grab the key. We're not going to be poisoning anyone, at least right now. So I'm going to grab the key. I need to then... Ooh, crowbar. Crowbar, good. I will now need to go upstairs, um, which is very tricky. I don't remember where the stairwell is, the one that I need to take. There's one stairwell that goes all the way down to the kitchen. I believe it is the one over here. Yeah, it is. So we'll go over there. And I will ascend up, and I will go grab... Hmm. I don't know if I need the tech uniform to grab, but I think I do. I think I need the tech uniform, which is unfortunate, because that means I do need to knock this guy out and then drag him down. Um, and I want to do that without killing him, so let's try that. This should be a easy pickup. Let me grab him. Alright. Oh god, that was way more brutal than I thought it would be. Alright, we're... Good lord. He's still alive this time, though. This time, we're not going to let him die. We're going to keep this man alive. Don't worry, but he does not look like he's doing well. I did hit him in the back of the head with a wrench. Um, so, I think I'm just telling myself he's alive, because that, that's a dead person. But it's okay. He's, he's alive. I swear to God. I will call an ambulance once he goes in the box. He'll be fine. All right. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. We're almost to the box. Once you're in the box, you can just sleep in the box. I'll cover your shift. I swear. <laughs> Alright, thank you for your clothes. I appreciate it. Alright, great. Now we have his clothes. This makes everything so much easier. Because now we just run upstairs. Here I go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. And then I come up to here, open the door, close the door. Run out here, and then turn right here. And then I'm going to be like, I want this. Now. Yeah, see? Himself. Yeah, yeah, see? Easy peasy. So we grab this now and we run all the way down to this floor. And I think we just run out one of these doors. Uh, I think it's... Honestly, I think it's this and then go this way. Yeah, and then straight out the back. Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm remembering. Hmm. I kind of want to open this first, I think. Yeah, we want to pop this open before I do anything. Yeah, I'm going to pop this open. ASAP. We'll use the lock pick so we don't make a lot of sound. Alright, it's open now. Great. Now, I come over here. And I jump through this window. I think it's... Yeah, it's right there. Sweet. Alright, let me grab the hammer. And let me grab... Uh, pick up the briefcase. And then just get through the window with the briefcase. Everything's good. Nobody's any the wiser. Everything is good. Everything's good. We open the door. All this is wonderful. We grab another crowbar because you just can't have enough crowbars. All right, wonderful. Now things get a little trickier, but not much. Uh, there's the ladder. So you come over here. You go here. You grab the sniper rifle that you've been holding on to. Put it together because you got to assemble it. This thing's massive. You know, it came in parts. So you put all three pieces together and then you start climbing. Nothing suspicious about this. I mean, everyone's probably hella suspicious, but it's fine. It's totally fine. So we come all the way up to the top. All right. Wonderful. All right, and now we grab the trigger. We detonate it. And now we have sound. The sound will cover the sniper shots. First target comes out here. Second target comes up here. We take the first. We take her first because less people will see. Take him second because once we take, if we take him first, then there's an odd, there's a chance I think that she might not get noticed. I'm not sure, but I think the order is take her first and then we take him. And then yeah, I mean if we want to be fancy, we can just start taking out guards <laughs> from this vantage point, but we probably won't. It'll be pretty clean. I think we can get in and out without it being too much problems. I mean I could also grab some of these guards down here, make my life a little bit easier, get helmet and all those other people, but. All right, there's our first target, and there's Margolis, the second target. Oh, she is actually in a really good place to cover herself. One second, three, two, one. Shit, she's moving. Wait. Just take a deep breath and reset. You don't want to take. You don't want to rush your shot. You always want to be ready, and you always want to take it when you know you have it. And got it. All right, second shot. Take a deep breath. Just line up. Second shot. There we go. Good. Never rush your shot. You always, you got time. You always have time. The worst thing you could do is fire before you're ready and then everyone knows where you are. Always just take a deep breath. It'll be fine. Alright. Easy peasy. Break it down. Scope. 
Yep, stock, all that. Good. Alright, the gun's broken down. It's in a suitcase. And we just walk on out of here like no one knew anything happened. Super easy. Super duper easy. Just paint by numbers. Alright, we're just gonna walk on out. We're gonna walk out this way. Uh, just because if we walk that way, there'll be there'll be questions. Actually, let's go down in the basement. There's a basement exit that I haven't taken in a, in a minute. I do like that exit quite a bit. So we're gonna take the basement exit. So I'm gonna come down here. It's a man who boxes with his bare knuckles. I mean, yeah, they're gonna find the bodies eventually. Like, I would hope that they would find the bodies. You're not doing a good, a good job of security if you didn't find those bodies. <laughs> you, sir, would get an F. All right, we got out. Easy peasy. Super easy. Walk in the park. I think we got five stars. Maybe not five stars, maybe like four stars, but I think we get a bonus because we got both the targets and it, was, it, it felt pretty clean, you know? Um, it could have been cleaner if I got the guards maybe, but I, I don't know. I was only going for the targets, so let's see. Yeah, in plain sight. <laughs> yeah, and the sniper assassin. All right, sick. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I knew four stars. I felt those four stars. All right, that feels better. That's what I wanted. I didn't want that one star. That one star kind of hurt me. Yeah, we shoot for excellence here. Ooh, good. Come on, give me them points. Give me those points. All right, I'll take it. 